All right, there we go. Okay, uh, hey guys, this is a, another tutorial, and it's a pretty quick one. So, um, it's basically how to loop songs inside of, you know, for Brawl, or Project M, either. Uh, it works for both. Anyway, uh, the things you're going to need are this stage manager. And uh, I would suggest getting the stage manager from this website. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, and there's also a song manager, but their new version of the uh, song manager kind of sucks. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, um, post my, it's an older version, but it, it's better for it. Because the new one doesn't sort the songs, but the old one does. The stage manager is the, probably the best because it shows you the stage and... Um, Let's you like manage stages and songs, so like, so you can see all the different names for them here, uh, and you can loop them and convert them inside this program. Um, however, I'm just going to be go ahead and I'm going to start off with a really simple part. Uh, so I'm going to open up my song manager and just choose the uh, desktop as my directory. So it's you know, and I'm going to go ahead and find a good song. You know, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It could be any song. I'll skip ahead. So I've gone ahead and found a song I like. Um, so once you find a good uh, song that you like from you know YouTube, wherever, basically just copy the link and find a downloader for the song, and you have your song downloaded. So I'll save it as desktop. The thing I usually do is um, the, sh the song will be downloaded as the name that the web page saves it as. So instead, uh, just copy the name and it shows you there. And now we have our song. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up with Audacity. We're going to need that, so you know, Google it, and I'll put the link in the description. And uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and go silent. The basic thing we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to change the, I'm going to export it as a WAV anyway. Um, but if there's any beginning parts you don't need, uh, it pretty much starts off strong. So uh, for this song, it's fine. I'm going to export it as a WAV to my desktop. Or WAV, okay. Either one works. You can call it whatever you like. Don't save it, and I usually keep the MP3 for previews on downloads. Um, so once you have your WAV file, you can drag it into the song manager and name it whatever, it doesn't matter. If you need to name it for like the stage, um, then I'd, you know, use it you know, in the stage manager. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to begin looping, and the basic thing we're going to look here for is a point in the song where I usually stretch it sideways because that gives me more room to work with. Um, so we're going to turn the loop option on, which is this little checkbox here, and we're going to play the song, find a part where, uh, you know, basically you're looking for two points of the song that match up and are similar. The parts I usually use are these build-up periods that happen before the chorus. So when you happen like, I don't know, I'll just, I'll just look for two points and it's pretty self-explanatory. So you can see it kind of pressed it right as the chorus was about to begin. Um, so uh, I usually do it the first one to save file size because at the end, when you when you mark off where the end of the loop is, it's going to delete everything after to save space. So uh, basically, you look for another chorus. If there's some variation in between two choruses or so, you can skip over one, uh, make it a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, but um, it really doesn't get that bloated unless you have like a really long song. Uh, anything underneath 
you know, two minutes is a good file size for a song. Um, and the good thing about uh, VRSDM files is that you can see in here on my uh, desktop, I can't click the desktop right now, but it's about 50 megabytes for a WAV, um, and it compresses it down to like five or three, somewhere around there, which is really nice. So I'm gonna look for another point two to that. So you can see right here, uh, the chorus begins again, and it pretty much does the same thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit before, and then right as it, the chorus is about to start, same thing with here, I'm going to click the button. I kind of like, get ready to press the button, and then like, you know, slam down on it as soon as I can, right when I get to the right point. So I turn loop on, and now we're going to play it a little bit before to make sure it sounds good. And now we have a looped song. It's uh, it's that easy. There's nothing you know magic about it. You click OK once it's looped if it sounds good. Um, and there we go. We have our new BRSTM. Now um, let's go over one thing I didn't cover. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say um, you're you're looping right, and you need to make a really fine adjustment. Uh, click these up and down arrows to refresh where it is. Okay, so um, let's say I set my loop break here. All right. Or, you know, wherever. Um, and it wasn't right. So you can see it's off a little bit. I got really lucky that I just happened to click in those two points. Um, but so click a little bit after it. Uh, and if you need to drag it, you can drag this a little bit. I will adjust it. So the two things you can do to, to adjust start and stop is either drag this. Um, and you cannot control undo, so make sure you don't make a mistake like just drag into a random point. Um, but you can drag this left and right. And the way I usually do it is I, if I need to make a really fine adjustment, like, you know, just off by like maybe a third of a second or so, then I'll drag it, you know, like one or two things to the side. But uh, usually I just click the button right when I need to and just keep doing that. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's trial, it's trial and error. Again, again, the best part to loop it at is right before the chorus, during that, that build-up point. You can either do it right as the chorus is about to happen, or just during that generic build-up, as long as you get the right two points. Um, so, uh, that's, you know, a basic, that's how you uh, loop it. Let's go ahead and get an in-game, alright? Uh, so I'm going to open up my stage manager. Um, you should set your directory as the uh, top file inside of your project M folder. So where it says project M, you set it to that folder. And so I'm going to put this over, I don't know, let's put it over Smashville. Smashville has a ton of songs. So um, I'm going to look for a empty file. I know 5 is empty. And uh, so I'm going to see if this is called here. 3.52 megabytes. It's not bad. I can get rid of .wav after it because it doesn't need it. So um, I usually rename my songs and change their format too. Uh, so, so that you can see the name first, which is really, uh, I, 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 I like it that way. So, parentheses. So now we have our name. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, so now once you have your stage selected here, and your song is selected, you're going to drag this into this space here. Um, oh crap, no I don't want because that's, I know, okay, this one's empty. So, this is inside the song now. So you can see it's in the song and it's looped. Um, now what you're going to do to save this is you're going to go to saveinfo.pack. If you uh, have that, and also if it's if it's if it lets you save it, save it. Um, uh, usually info pack is only when you change the name of the song. So I'm going to click F2 to rename the file, and then just copy paste the name and click out of it. And then I can go in here, press Enter, and it is saved inside there. Now if you want it to be saved for your main menu, you're going to do tools and then update both of these. Uh, and, oh no, this is different. Okay, so update menu main and cell character 2. This will update your song names throughout the entire game. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as uh, doing song related stuff is. If you're doing Project M and you get that little message that I just got as a warning, don't worry about it. It's just because the, the format's changed. Um, but that's, that's pretty much the, the, everything you need to know about, uh, song looping.